welcome back to Commerce Close Up. As some of you have may notice in City Park, some art has been popping up and today we have with us Mr. David Zavonik, uh, a local regional artist, excuse me, regional artist. Can you tell us a little bit about some of your artwork that you have displayed at the park? Well, the art comes from my interest in um, natural surfaces and oxidized surfaces, weather-worn surfaces. Uh, it also has to deal with a, uh, a wood that is native to the area and figures in the history of this area quite a bit. The Bodark tree, as you know, um, has built fences. Our houses are built on top of Bodark. Uh, Commerce is the Bodark capital of Texas. Uh, there was a man named uh, uh, Dr. Fred Tarpley, uh, deceased, who wrote a book about the Bodark tree called uh, A Wood Eternal. And a Bodark is a special wood because it doesn't rot. It, you can bury it in the ground and it can be there forever and bring it back up and, it's some, and the, the inside of it is just as yellow and green as it used to be when it was new. Really? Interesting. That answers my questions about the materials that you use. <laughs> um, so tell me about um, how did you get to display your art at the city park? Well, there is an, I, I've been wanting to do something with Bodark wood for a long time. I've, I've done some smaller scale sculptures personally at my house uh, using these, these old fence posts that I've had laying around. Um, there's an organization called Hunt County Public Art it's a uh, committee of Keep Greenville Beautiful. They sponsor a program every year where they will pay to have public art put up in um, various venues uh, around Hunt County. They would like for Hunt County artists to actually produce these works. And of course, there's some restrictions on what kind of venue and, and how much money is involved. But anyway, last year, uh, they chose my project as um, mm -hmm. um, what something they wanted to fund to go up here in commerce. Awesome. So, is it? Do you only have artwork here? Do you also have it displayed in other? I have artwork all over the state of Texas, and and I've got artwork in New York City and all around the country. Uh, there's a, a large mural of mine over at the uh, TAMUC Music Building Concert Hall, uh, on the second floor at the I think that's the. Uh, northeast entrance uh, to the music building. Uh, I've got uh, artwork in various businesses around town and uh, I've been producing work. I, I actually graduated from this university in uh, 1979 and then I got my uh, MFA here in 1986. So I've been here for quite a while and my, my work is can be seen in uh, numerous locations all around. Do you still work with the art students here on campus? I don't directly work with art students here on campus, except I do have a facility at my um, f little farm outside of town where the ceramic students come a couple of times a semester and fire a wood kiln that I allowed them to build on my property. That's awesome. So you hold classes? I, I, I don't hold classes. No. I let them use. You let them, okay. And, and I, uh, uh, I get to interact with them and that, you know, it's stimulating to me and it's I hope it's stimulating to them to, to see somebody who is who's uh, graduated from here and has settled in and is a professional artist and how I make my living I hope that that inspires them um, to uh, to go on in in their art careers absolutely that could inspire any artist um, now we don't just have that art at the city park we also have other parks that are here in commerce could you Tell us a little about that, Mr. Clayton. Well, we, we do. That's one of the, th the things that I'm most proud of since I've been in commerce is the, the condition and the, the uh, uh, cleanliness and safetyness of our parks because, you know, lots of, lots of kids come to town, say, to use the Children's Museum or for different reasons, and they, they all usually end up at one of our parks. So we've really tried hard. The council's really supported me and staff to allow us to not only maintain the parks but improve the parks. And uh, one of the parks that I'd like to talk about a little bit is Eddie Moore. It's our sports complex out on FM 3218. Uh, it's adjacent to Centennial Park, which is one of our parks we've got playground equipment in. Uh, but Eddie Moore is a sports complex. We've got four, four fields there. Uh, every summer for the last several years, we've hosted Little Dixie uh, softball tournaments for state tournaments for the young girls. Seven and eight girls seem to be a pretty 
they, they like to come to Commerce, we like to have them here because they bring a lot of family with them. But uh, every year we, we've been able to host that and, you know, after we pay all of our expenses and, and uh, realize our gains every year, it's, it's usually, you know, a few thousand dollars we come out ahead. The council allows me and my staff to put that money right back into that park. So we've improved the, con the concession stand, the restrooms, the lighting, uh, sprinkler systems, uh, fencing, uh, an arch at the entrance. It's just really, the people that come here from all over the state really do praise the condition of that complex out there. They love to come to Commerce for their state tournament. And that, I think that works, uh, works for the city, you know, getting their name out and showing that we are really concerned about what we provide in, uh, for our parks and recreation. Absolutely. Could you tell us about the, um, the other park you were speaking of, the well, Centennial Park? Centennial is adjacent to it. It's, it's not as well known as City Park because it's a little more isolated. It's off, off, off uh, Charity Road, and, and, uh, but it's got some brand new playground equipment in it. We've had some donations, some private donations that have allowed us to upgrade that equipment. And just in the last couple of years, that's also adjacent to where our soccer programs play their soccer games on Saturday. And some of the monies that we've, we've uh, uh, netted from the, from the softball tournaments, we've in, installed uh, sprinkler systems out there and bleachers. and. We really made that just one big complex. You can't tell when you leave Eddie Moore and you get into Centennial. And uh, we applied for a grant a year ago. Unfortunately, we barely missed out on the grant, but we're really optimistic about this next go around, which is coming right up. And that would provide us a, uh, a skate park out there, a uh, nine hole disc golf course, and a new walking trail. So we're really excited about that. That's the Texas Parks and Wildlife Association. And, uh, uh, we're going to turn around and reapply and really think we've got a good shot at getting that this year. So that's just another addition of uh, options for people to use out there. We're excited. I know the students on campus will be happy about that disc golf it's trail. It's pretty popular right now. That's it very awesome. Is, very I know I'll go take you seven. Yeah, that's yeah, really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us today. That's the end of our segment. Uh, come back to us next week on Commerce Close Up. Good. Oh, yeah.